Hello everyone, this is Beatles832 and this is What's on Deck and do not adjust your screens. That is actually like you see and it's not even noon. That is because it's been pretty dark outside. We've been having a storm for like the last two hours. It's finally calming down but if you hear some thunder in the background, don't be alarmed. <laughs> Anyways, this is What's on Deck. I think I mentioned that already. Let's start off with a little roundup of what's going on Kickstarter. I'm just going to go up and down the list of all the decks on Kickstarter and let you know what I know. First of all, there's a new deck on Kickstarter. It's the Bicycle Evolution. I like that name. From Elite Playing Cards. It's like their 100th deck of cards this year or something like that. I don't know. I've lost count. It's a pretty awesome looking deck of cards. Maybe not the best for performing, but pretty awesome nonetheless. Some of the faces are blue, some of them are red, it's a black deck, it just looks awesome. Definitely check it out, it's definitely funded, it's definitely getting made. You definitely might want to pick them up. Another new deck of cards that came this week is the Imperial Playing Cards, designed by the Midnight Playing Card Company, and it's being put out by a House of Playing Cards, it's very interesting that House of Playing Cards is actually putting out a deck on Kickstarter. To me, it sounds like they are getting it a little bit greedy. They see all these other decks making a hundred grand on Kickstarter. They figured they might as well join that club. Uh, might as well join that club. And so far, it's not happening. But they're they're almost funded. They're like 89% funded. But I don't think that they're going to make tens of thousands of dollars like they anticipated. Again, though, I don't really understand it. If they put those decks on HouseOfPlayingCards.com, they're going to sell out anyway. So their only purpose for actually going on Kickstarter is to try to get a larger audience and make more money, which sounds like greed. Nonetheless, the Bicycle Imperial, the Imperial deck is a nice deck of cards. There is one that is a red deck that just says Imperial Playing Cards on it. And then there's a black one that says Bicycle Imperial if you really have to have a bicycle deck. So you can get either or or both which is kind of cool uh, next on our list a bicycle Venexiana which is a Venice themed deck of cards from Half Moon Playing Cards and in case you don't know the designer of the, ha uh, the guy who runs Half Moon Playing Cards designed previously the Timeless deck of cards and the Bicycle Butterfly deck of cards for RSVP Magic uh, few months ago last year whatever it was he designed this deck it's a Venice themed deck it's a white deck there's also a alternate black box that you can get but it's the same deck it is funded it's got 50 hours to go if you haven't gotten yours yet make sure you get yours right now uh, he was going to do a black deck as well if they hit $20,000 they haven't hit $20,000 they kind of stalled on 18500 for a little while at least for the last day or so and he's also said that he's not going to make a black deck right now because it's too much hassle too much too much cost but he will do a black deck later on he's actually telling people this is a first to cut back on your pledges <laughs> yes he said that cut back on your pledges because there's not going to be a black deck and yeah Never heard that before, but <laughs> whatever. He's, he, it is funded. It is going to be coming. And if you haven't got yours yet, you still got 50 hours to us, so make sure you go get it. The next deck on our list is the Creepy Deck. Creepy Playing Cards. That's the whole name. Apparently, it's being printed by USB-C, but he's only looking for like $6,000, so I don't know exactly how that's going to happen. I'm a little bit concerned about that, actually, now that I think of it. Because it says printed by USPC and he's only looking for $6,900 that is scary actually but it's only 50 just over 50 percent funded almost a month ago it looks like it's going to be successful however I'm hoping he gets a couple more thousand dollars than he's looking for otherwise it might be a little bit hard to make that happen for $6,900 a USB C deck. I don't think originally it was going to be USB C, but now it is. I don't know. 
Uh, the creator is XGU Productions, or however you pronounce that. So far, you had two other decks the Bicycle Emotions, and there's that funder I was telling you about. The Bicycle Emotions, and another one, both of them failed. This one might be successful. However, he's, I don't think he's looking for enough money, so you might want to be cautious about picking this one up. And I will say, however, compared to the other ones, this one is an, a nicer deck. It's got a creepy face on the back design, black and white, black and silver color. And it is a two-way back design, by the way. But it is a creepy, scary-looking face. And then it's got creepy figures on the court guards. Much better than the previous decks, which were really cartoony, and I just didn't like them. Um, another deck that's on Kickstarter, I think I mentioned last week, is the Permacall. So playing cards, I have not picked this one up. I'm not interested in, in it. Basically, each card has permaculture information, whatever that is. Uh, there's people, plants, ideas, animals, techniques, that's what it says anyways. One way back design, you don't get pips on any other cards, just a bunch of information. Not exactly the type of deck of cards that I'm interested in, or that you would use to perform or anything like that. But they are well funded, and there's still over 20 days left helps to have a lot of subscribers on your YouTube page, apparently. Uh, the next deck, the Persian Empire. Blah, blah, it's not funded yet. Moving along. The Bicycle Emperor. If you haven't picked up the Bicycle Emperor deck, 11 days to go. You can't get the blue deck, but the red deck, you can get unlimited. It is going to happen. It's funded for sure. Uh, another new deck I might have mentioned before, A War of Kings. It's getting there, not funded yet. That one's got a theme featuring knights, barbarians, and wizards. Pretty cool looking. Not sure if it's going to be USPC. It wasn't originally. I'm not sure if it is going to be though. The back design on this deck, the, the faces look really nice. The back design, it kind of looks like he, well, looks like he kind of got tired of designing and just did whatever. I don't know. The next on the list, the Bicycle Revenant and Bicycle Vivant, the Black Box Card Games, Volume 1. Two decks, because two is better than one. You get a dark theme and a, like a, it's like a, 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 a death theme and a living theme. Pretty cool. Nice looking decks, so definitely check them out. And you can get a whole bunch of games along with that. It's not even 50% funded yet, but it's still got over 20 days, so it's still got a possibility. Then there's the Pocket Time Machine playing card. It's only 8 days left. Almost 80% funded. I don't know how it got so much funded, because it's a pretty crappy looking deck. And very lackluster design on the box. Just really terrible. <laughs> Then there's the Bicycle Radical 80s deck. Uh, four days left. If you haven't picked this one up yet, you might want to check it out. It's pretty cool. Lots of vibrant neon colors. 80s theme. Pretty cool. Uh, whoops. Bear with me a second. Mm, I'll skip that one for now. The Fanangle deck has six days left, only 33% funded. It's a shame. It looks like a great deck, especially the back design, but it's just not going to make it. I guess people don't want their playing cards rebranded. Note to Tunnel Bravo or Fanangle, whatever they want to call themselves. <laughs> the Badass Raging Grenades deck, you cannot get it anymore. It's funded. I did not bother with this one, but they got $49,000 of funding somehow. Pretty surprising since it's anything but standard. The minimal deck still has 38 days of le left to go, but it's got a minimal amount of pledges as I predicted. It's not going to make it, I don't think. It needs a miracle to make it. Bear with me a second. Excuse me. Um, next on the list, I mentioned this one before, the Trips and Sips of Thomas Chippins, the drinking deck. 
just about 80% funded, 13 days left. Again, not your standard deck of cards, features like alcoholic beverage recipes and information. It's just, uh, it's, it's a deck based on drinking. It's not standard in any way, no pips or anything like that, and it does not look like it's gonna be successful, but who knows. Then there's the bicycle King of Kings from TPX Designs. Just about 80% funded, seven days to go. You can help make it a reality. Go check it out right now. It's a pretty awesome deck. They did add on a limited black deck with 50 decks only, and they are probably going to be adding another color. Again, limited, not USB-C, those decks, but limited nonetheless and pretty cool. And like I said, there, there is the deck. Then there is an alternate box color as well you can get. It's pretty cool. Next on the list is one that is more like a uh, just making you aware of it. It's the bicycle stigmata, playing cards based on these stigmatics or stigmata, whatever. And they call it saints, affected by the signs of the stigmata, as it says. It's from the same creator as the bicycle diamond cut deck, a deck which has failed, been cancelled, and failed again, and as soon as this one failed, as soon as that one failed, he posts a campaign for this one, and this one, the Bicycle Stigmata, he's designed all of about two cards, <laughs> and a back design, which isn't that great. To me, it seems like this guy needs to step back, take a deep breath, finish designing the deck, and then it on Kickstarter. Nobody's gonna pledge for a deck that he hasn't even really begun to start designing and it shows only 8% funded. Not even a thousand bucks. Good going. You're on a roll once again. Like I said, take a deep breath, step back, relax, do the artwork, take it to the forums like United Cardists, get their opinions, make sure it's perfect, and then put it on Kickstarter. That's my recommendation. I dislike it when you got projects on Kickstarter that are still designing cards after it's been funded or designing cards before, like during the whole process. It's like we want to see a complete project. We want to see the deck, not something that is in progress. And yeah, just a little tip. Let's move along. The Steampunk Visions of Class Strife deck, there's actually two decks, not looking good. This one has been on before at least once. It was not successful. They might have canceled it. I don't remember. It's not even 40% funded yet and only eight days to go. It's a shame. It's a pretty nice looking deck of cards, but it's just not going to make it. And I don't see them promoting it anywhere or anything like that, so that doesn't help. Um, oh, I'll just go here. Then there's the Mirrored by Design Bicycle Deck. The wild bicycle playing card, as they say. <laughs> Only 6% funded, 25 hours to go. In happening. That one definitely is a miracle. The Zombie Girls, Zombies Pin-Up Playing Cards. Uh, only 18 days left and just about 40% funded. Not a USB-C deck. Has a little bit of hope, but not much. The deck of Proverbs, playing cards, a biblical theme deck. Again, only 20% funded with 14 days left. That's not happening. And also not a USB-C deck, of course. Um, there's a lot of other decks that aren't going to make it, obviously. The Bicycle Haunted decks. The Haunted deck, that was funded, but I'm not a huge fan of it. And I canceled my pledge on it because I, it looks like it's, uh, it's just not great. You know, it's... It's got an interesting, a decent thing to it, but they got lazy on the court cards and just threw the same court cards in all the soups. That's kind of lazy to me. Anyways, moving along. Steampunk, Kululus, however you pronounce that, from Nat, are finally sipping. The... Um, 
All right, yeah, the Voyager bicycle cards have finally arrived. The bicycle Voyager decks have finally arrived at the uh, the guy's place. So we'll be sipping soon, I'm sure. Uh, the Moustache cards, I haven't heard anything on those Vanta cards lately. The Sultana, if you haven't received them yet, should be receiving soon. I already got mine, obviously. The Majestic, Bicycle Majestic from Elite Plane Cards, the Sipping. Uh, you should receive them soon if you haven't. The Galaxy V2 should be sipping soon, I'm guessing. There's one deck of, uh, deck of cards. It's a card game. It's only got $53 pledged. It's 0% funded in three days to go. And that's five backers. 0% funded. <laughs> it's just terrible. It's got a, a, a mafia and werewolf theme to these cards for a game. A mafia game. Eh, people don't like it. The Federal 52 decks are shipping or will be shipping soon. So if you haven't gotten them yet, just keep waiting won't be much longer the founders playing cards a lot of uh pissed off people on that one it doesn't look like it's happening some people are saying that uspc hasn't even made them they don't know anything about them so it's not looking good good thing i didn't pledge for that one <laughs> a royal optic playing cards have arrived they will be shipping out soon speaking of usi they are doing a new Deck on Kickstarter starting tomorrow, the Blue Bloods Redux. So if you missed out on the first deck, the Blue Bloods, this is your chance to pick it up. It's different. It's not just a color change or anything like that. It looks pretty awesome, and I can't wait to get them. The Bicycle Quicksilver from Russell Kurtzival. No idea what happened to them. I'm still waiting and waiting and waiting. It's been months. He hasn't been responding to my messages on Kickstarter or United Cardists or Facebook or from Circle City Cards. I don't know what's happened to them. <laughs> and a lot of other decks that I'm waiting on. I haven't heard a lot on them lately. Oh, there's one. Uh, the core playing cards. Apparently, those are shipping. I'm still waiting for them. And as per his stretch goals, it should be metallic inks. They just made that, so they better be metallic inks. <laughs> Haven't heard anything really on the Pippoglyph cards lately. And. Oh, the traditional 8 bits are in. They were still waiting on some of the other decks, but they got the red and blue decks in. The rest should be coming in the near future. And I think I'll leave it at that. I can't think of anything else. The ultraviolets, still waiting on those. I don't know if I'm ever going to see those. I apologize if this video is a little bit long. I really apologize. I just thought that would be a little bit better just to go through them. Uh, I think that's it for Kickstarter. Uh, one other little note. The Fallen Cards Project, some of you may have heard of it, which was uh, Dan and Dave was involved with that. It was for a pilot for a TV series about magic with Dan and Dave, Buck as the stars, Ekaterina was going to be involved, and all sorts of other magicians. It barely got any funny. It did not make it. And now apparently they're looking for $1,500 for equipment and stuff on another crowdfunding website. And I don't even think they're going to get the $1,500. Who knows? But I don't think that they're, they're planning to relaunch on Kickstarter. But I'm upset that that's going to work anyway. And Lance Miller was just you know, designing a deck for that. And that kind of all fell through. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, Illusionist, some updates. Uh, Illusionist just released the Salted Republic V2. It's a black borderless design. 
custom faces and everything. I probably will see mine in like two weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. I just got my Scarlet Rounders. I'm happy with that. Two Scarlet Rounders, not one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I got nothing else from Illusionist right now. Haven't heard anything from Theory 11 lately. I'm still wondering if they're going to be doing Red Monarchs or not. If they just teased us for nothing. Dan and Dave, still no new decks from them. However, they are going to be having a new variety box. If you're looking for a variety box with 12 decks, they got that coming up soon. I'm not really interested because they haven't done anything lately. And I've got older decks. Speaking of which, Dan and Dave appear to have another website now called artofplay.com. I, I did get a response from someone on there called, named Justin. I don't know who. Justin who? Justin Miller. I don't know who it is. Some Justin. Uh, but it does have Dan and Dave's name on it. There's a lot of rare decks on there, including the Bicycle Burtons. Actually, I think they sold out on those. There was 11. I bought one more. Other people bought some, but they sold out. There's all sorts of Chinatowns. Uh, Chinatowns, don't even bother. They're looking for $88, and that's just the red one. The yellow one, same thing. Really, really outrageously overpriced. There's Magicon V1s for 50 bucks. if there's any left. I picked up another one. I've been looking for another one. That price is too good to pass up because they sell for like 80 to 100 bucks on eBay. So it was like, sold. <laughs> um... And they got all sorts of other Dan and Dave and Fury 11 decks on there, some Daniel Madison decks. So maybe check it out. It's not a bad looking web website. Some of the prices on some of the rare decks are pretty good. Some of them are kind of bizarre, especially the Chinatowns, mainly that one. And a decent selection, artofplay.com. Um, that's what I've got. I don't think I've got anything else. Nothing new. Uh, on the horizon from the Blue Crown that I know of. House of Plant Guards recently released the Summer NLC decks. And of course they're doing that Imperial deck with Midnight Card Company on Kickstarter. So that's all I've got. I got nothing from Big Blind Media. Alright, I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more. And look, the storm is over. <laughs> See ya.